What's up, YouTube? So for those who don't know me, my name is Kyle. I'm a registered massage therapist here in Canada. I'm in school for Chinese medicine, a holistic nutritionist, dedicating my whole life to helping people through healthcare. Found my purpose in life. And uh, so yeah, um, if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'm new. I'm gonna be coming out with all kinds of incredible things uh, on YouTube for, for you guys, just to, to help make people's life better because that's my purpose in life so and this is secret agent Perkins um, she's dope anyways yeah I want to talk about food today so um, the energy that goes into food and like the like the benefits of blessing our food that it makes a difference like our water what we consume because if food can be our medicine food is our medicine that's what we consume that's what we're made of is food and water and minerals from the earth so Eating is, it's an important process and it should be treated as such. Like it's a, it's a sacred thing because it's, I mean, if we're eating, not everyone can even eat in a day. Like that's, that's special on its own. Like being able to eat, especially organic, good food grown with love, without chemicals, that's, that's really important. And not everyone has that privilege. And it is a privilege because I, when I was in India studying yoga and Ayurvedic medicine, um, you know, there's, I've seen, like, I've seen poverty, I thought I've seen poverty in, like, you know, in Toronto, LA, New York, Chicago, Vancouver, I've traveled a lot, been all around North America, like, you know, so, uh, Central America too, but, you know, India was a real eye-opener, and, uh, you know, giving someone, uh, like, 25 cents worth, like, Canadian worth of food there, like, can, is like a, you know, like the best part of their day. Like it's so, it's so crazy. Like it's, you know, we take so much for granted over here. But anyways, yeah. So I want to talk about energy first and the energy that goes into food. When you cook food and say if you're having a bad day and you're stressed out and you're cooking that food, that energy goes into the food. So when the person eats that food, you're taking in that energy because there's an energy transfer. As a healer too, the same thing. If I'm treating someone on my massage table or whatever, or doing acupuncture on them, my energy, how I'm feeling, like if I'm nervous and I'm putting that needle in, that nervousness is gonna go into that patient. It's the same with food, okay? So um, I don't know if you can see from there, but I have a cold sore right now on my lip and this is crazy. So. I don't get them very often, only when I'm very stressed. And I was having a very stressful day. I was sporadic, I was behind. Uh, I'm, in, I'm doing like 50 hours a week in school. I'm working, I'm working on projects. So I have a lot going on. I live alone too. Uh, I don't have any family for like 1500 plus kilometers away from here. So I was stressed. I was doing a Qigong class while I was cooking and then I was eating while I was standing. And I always, I don't always because I didn't do it this time. I always try to bless the food before I eat it. And I didn't bless my food this time. So I'm doing a Qigong class in my kitchen while I'm standing up. My laptop's right next to my plate. I have an iPad there. Modem is right there. Like all this, these harmful frequencies are around me. And I have like this sporadic stress energy. And as I was cooking, I was like, you know, rushing. And I didn't bless my food. And I swear, like three, four bites into this, I felt my lip and I knew right away, like right away. I'm like, okay, like I'm getting a cold sore right now. And I finished the food. I was very hungry. It tasted delicious, but I got a cold sore because of the stress and the energy that went into that food. That food brought it out. Like, it's so crazy. Like, and I guess the healthier you are too, the more you notice these things because you're, you're running at a higher state. And when you take something that lowers your state, it's more noticeable. But if you're already running at a lower state, like you're, you, know, you're, you drink alcohol a lot, or you're smoking a lot of weed, or you're eating a lot of fast food, you're eating non-organic foods with chemicals, your body's more used to that. So you don't notice it when you take in like lower vibrational foods. So even like when I was in India, um, my my teacher my mentor who was an ayurvedic doctor he was saying that a lot of people don't even let their their wives cook for them when they're on their their menstruation cycle like when they're on their period 
because they're cleansing and there's negative energy leaving the body. So when they cook the food and if they're on their period, that energy is going to go into that food. And then whoever consumes that food, that energy goes into them as well. So I actually don't, I barely eat out, like rarely, rarely, because I don't know what they put in the food. It's much less healthy. Um, it's like money isn't the big thing, but I do like saving money. Um, but I don't feel as good when I eat the food, you know, it's usually rushed. The energy that goes into the food, I notice it. So yeah, like take the time, sit down, bless the food and give thanks for the food. And we can actually, there's been studies like that we can change the molecular structure. Like, so there was this one study where there was three things of water one water, you, the person was blessing the water, saying, I love you, thank you. The second water, they left alone. And the third water, they were sending in hateful energy, like, I hate you, blah, blah, blah. And the first energy, uh, this, the molecular structure came, uh, it became more bioavailable. So the, uh, like, instead of the molecules being sporadic, they came together, and which makes it more easy for the body to um, absorb the, the molecules, the hydrogen from the water. So, um, and then the one that they didn't do anything to, it kind of, it stayed in the same state. And the one that they expressed hate into it, it, be, it uh, like became rancid, which is so crazy. And it's like, we are so powerful, but the like, you know, the bad guys are trying to lower our vibration. Like the, you know, the bad guys, the people who, took cigarettes, tobacco, and they put in all these disgusting toxic chemicals in the cigarettes to make them as addictive as possible. So we get addicted to them and then we smoke them and we slowly kill ourselves. And then we have to spend money on big pharma and cancer stuff. And you know, that's what they did to us because, or I mean, to people who smoke, the consumers, television programming, they're literally trying to lower our vibration. So getting this this is stuff for another video anyways um treat food as such so some practices i really recommend with food um that i've learned uh in india and holistic nutrition in chinese medicine um is don't have any distractions with the food so when you're eating food be with the food don't be looking at your smartphone don't be watching tv be with the food consciously take the bite eat it, put the spoon or fork down, put your utensil down and then chew it and chew it until um, it is like mush. So like 30 plus times, chew it more, more, the more you chew it, the easier it is for your body to absorb it, the easier it is for your digestive system to take in the energy that the food is gonna give you. The less you chew it, the harder your body is gonna work, the worse your digestion is gonna be and the more issues it adds to yourself down the road. Um, Next thing is don't rush. Like that goes hand in hand with not rushing. Don't just eat fast because that's stressful for your body. Um, like be in a good state when you eat the food. Like I said, the energy that goes into the food, if you're in a stress state while you're eating, same thing, that's just gonna add more stress to your body because that stress is going into the food, then it's going into your body, more stress. Be grateful, give thanks believe you can placebo yourself you can placebo your food giving thanks believing that it will heal you and it will because our mind is so powerful like it's so powerful so give thanks for this food like i believe thank you for this food please let this food heal me and whatever ailments you want like just whatever energy you know you can put anything into that but be in a good state if you just argued with your significant other and you're angry don't eat like Breathe first, calm yourself, and then eat. Because the worst time to eat is when you're stressed or guilty or whatever. So yeah, let's talk about guilt. That's a good one with food because um, like if you're eating something unhealthy, what's worse, eating it and being guilty that you're eating it or eating it and being happy that you're eating it? So obviously it's like eating it and being like, you know what, I deserve this. And you eat that food and it's gonna be okay. But the guilt alone is worse than the food itself. So like if you're guilty while you're eating something, 
then not only are you taking on the unhealthiness of that food, but you're also taking on guilt, which is further stressing your system. And the thing with emotions is these emotions attack us from the inside already. They're attacking directly to our organs, to our liver, to our gallbladder, our lungs, our spleen, our heart, the pericardium, you know, the intestines. So each emotion attacks us, is like related to a specific organ too. So when we get sick, it's normally like a pathogenic factor that comes from the outside, but with our emotions, we're attacking ourselves directly from the inside. And then we're putting those emotions into food and it goes into us. So with food, make a practice so you're making your food and your water bless it and then put that good, beautiful energy into that and consume it, give thanks. And you will be so much happier and healthier and life will just be, you will enhance your life like that so profoundly. So um, I guess, what else, what else can I say here about this? The food etiquette. Um, giving thanks after you eat, you know, taking it slow. Um, also like what you use to eat. So like stay away from plastic. Don't use nonstick pans, use cast iron. Um, don't use any like man-made or GMO oils like canola or palm or vegetable oil. The only three oils that we should have in our kitchen is coconut, olive, and avocado oils. Beyond that, we don't need anything else. Maybe like for butter, you can use grass-fed butter, gra organic grass-fed butter and ghee, or make ghee out of organic grass-fed butter. That's what I do. It's a lot cheaper because ghee can be really expensive. Um, and don't be shy with that stuff. I used to not eat it because I used to think it would like, it's like not good, but actually we need these good fats. It's what keeps our, our joints nourished. Um, so obviously eat high quality stuff, like never eat margarine, only proper grass fed organic butter and like make ghee with it. Um, so yeah, and then what we eat with. So like I was saying, the nonstick pans only use cast iron or stainless steel. Um, with their plates, use a glass. Utensils make a difference. The best thing you can do is use real silver, gold, or wood. I have read um, that stainless steel actually can lower the vibration of your food. So uh, I'm not 100% sure about that, but I would prefer to eat something with something more natural anyways, like, um, you know, silver, um, it's a, it conducts better, um, or wood, it's natural, like, I, I mean, so is steel, but, um, yeah, I guess that's like, if, I mean, if you're doing all these things already, like, you, that's a, that's a huge practice, so, you know, just get out all the toxic chemicals as much as you can, you know, and uh, another thing with food is, like, for health, um, there's a there's a proverb that I like a Tibetan proverb. It's like um, Eat half walk double love in unconditionally or something like that um, But yeah, like anyone who lives like to hundred past they don't eat that much our stomach is only the size of our two hands so That's how much food we should have like we need ample room for digestion So after we eat we shouldn't be drinking water right away um, we should be eating seasonally, so warming foods in the winter, cooling foods in the summer. Um, the best, a good practice is to walk after dinner to help digest, and because we want to be going to bed with, uh, not a, like, the more empty the stomach is when we go to bed, the better, because if our, we lie down and our blood is going to our stomach to digest while we're trying to sleep instead of going to the brain and to our extremities or our organs where it needs that need healing like our digestion will take away from our healing and it'll we won't get as a deep of a sleep if we are eating too close to bed so um yeah like food food's so good and uh I, another thing like with taste too it's like it's also a mindset like i went from eating so unhealthy like fast food every day to switching my diet and I love what I eat now. It's so delicious and it's all healthy foods. Like it's, um, I make most of my own things. Like my salad dressing is just like olive oil, some spices with some apple cider vinegar, which like aids in digestion, probiotics. And like I'm making 
um, I eat a lot of keto style food. So then I eat like some, you know, I just listen to my body and eat what I need. I, I have like, you know, some vegan days and then I'll have like keto. Um, it's dangerous to like, I have an identity with a diet cause then that, that gives you limitations. And then it's like, that stresses you out. You're like, Oh, I can't eat that. I can't eat that. Um, so that's no good because that's stressful. It's like, you know, I just, I'm going to eat this because this is what my body wants. This is what my body needs. So I'm going to listen to my body. I'm going to eat this. I'm going to give thanks for it. I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to breathe. I'm going to consume this. I'm going to give thanks again. And, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to move after I'm going to walk. So it digests. So then, you know, and then I'm going to hydrate and with the water that I'm grateful for. And so, yeah, uh, that's, I guess that's, that's about it. I'm a bit ranting now, like, but, um, if you made it this far, thank you so much. I'm like, so grateful. Uh, please, please like subscribe. Um, it would mean a lot to me. Um, I think, I think YouTube's a beautiful platform where, uh, people who want to learn can go instead of like, you know, Instagram, things kind of just get, get lost in the, in the scroll and like the, so, um, I think I'm going to make this my main platform. I mean, not, I think like I am. So, um, thank you so much. Please subscribe. And, um, yeah, like let's just be as healthy as we can live the best life. We can achieve anything we want in life. Like this is ours. You know, if you could be anything you want to be, find the answer to that. If you could have anything you want to have, find the answer to that. If you could do anything you want to do, find the answer to that. And achieve it set the bar high for yourself and achieve it because we can all do it we can so let's take what we want with our mind and our self-discipline and our perseverance all right thank you so much so grateful for you guys